In this video, I'll show three of the coolest tools that I've seen to make it possible to develop CPI faster. The first one I want to cover is Convista CPI Helper. And it's a Chrome extension you add to your browser. And once you've done that, you get these three little boxes down here. And these are pretty cool. So from here, we can go into trace mode, activate the trace on the specific iFlow. If we send a message through on this interface, what we will see is uh, we can view our message log monitor here and we can see that a new message was processed just now. We can go to, to the trace and see how this was processed and everything like that. So here we got access to the trace in a normal way and it opens directly with the place and you can see all the, play, uh, all the payloads and stuff like that. The cool part is you have this option here, you can select here, and then you can then get all the data from each of the individual steps here. You have the option to beautify the code, so it's a little easier to read some of the XML, JSON stuff, and you can see headers and payloads here. Uh, and I also think that it is possible to see it if it is branches, so you can see that it got the different branches up here. So that is pretty cool. It gives you a, a better opportunity to see what's going on. You can see the status of the iFlow, it's, if it's deployed and stuff like that. Um, so pretty cool plugin. He is developing it pretty fast and it's improving. The other tool is the Groovy IDE uh, CPI extension, which allows you to edit uh, Groovy scripts directly in here without having to uh, install a web GUI. So here you can copy paste your code, you can uh, uh, do the modifications that you want, execute it, get the result directly. If you want to dump some data into the console, you can also uh, do that the same way. Um, this really speeds up the, the processing, enable you to edit a CPI Groovy script, you then copy and paste it back again. In this latest release, we also got a new uh, functionality, which also makes the life a little easier. Um, so this is the simulation mode, and it only works when you are uh, not in the edit mode of it. And what you can do is you can switch it back into edit mode. You can then select a line, click where you want to start. You then need to click at the start point, specify what are the input parameter, what are the output. You need to specify what the payload is. I got it here, I think. And then you want to specify the output step. Or where you want to stop. And then you can run it and it will send the message from here into here. Um, and then you'll be able to see the output for each of the different messages. So here you can see the payload and the body at this point in time. You have the option here to see what's going on after here and we can see it's calculated everything uh, correctly. We also have the option here to add extra variables. Uh, I'm not really sure. If you had had called external services, you also got a way to, to handle mocking of these things. Um, so this allows you to test how your script is working, test a part of it. I do think that the flow script up here still gives uh, you some benefits, but obviously if you just want to test a small part of your script, this may be a way to, to handle it uh, with this, the simulation part. The last tool I want to present is the Fagafia T tool. It's not a new tool, but it has a lot of value if you're doing a lot of CPI development. It has a couple of different parts. One, it has a governing part. And in the governance process, what you're able to do is you can actually see who has made which development uh, features for what specific reasons. So we can go in, we can see a specific iFlow what are the different versions between this? We can compare what was changed between iFlows or objects in that matter. Um, we can transport these. And once we transport an iFlow, we are able to configure it in the new landscape, all from one within one tool. We can generate 
documentation on this and we can run regression testing on all the different interfaces that you have. The other part is our monitoring tool and in here you have the option to give users access to one or more iFlows and in this you the user would then be able to to see all the messages that are being processed um, if they have access to those specific iFlows. And there's also an alerting tool that allow you to simply set up alerts if something bad happens to your CPI, send it to the specific person that is in charge of that uh, case, making it a lot easier for them to fix and repair an issue. We are also able to take your CPI content, export it to a Git repository, where you can then browse all your packages, all your iFlows, all your value mappings, being able to edit uh, the scripts, XSLTs, uh, XSDs in the property, then upload it directly from here, uh, instead of having to go to the, the GUI, run tests, managing it, making it a lot easier to for you to to work with your CPI projects. Hope you wanna try this out also. You can go to figaf.com forward slash IIT and try it out.